Tim and Sarah met serendipitously in 2019, though they were worlds apart, crossing generations, genders, and what felt like galaxies. They were aligned in vision, mission, and purpose. Together, they sensed a powerful rebirth was on the horizon, which was indeed triggered by the global shifts of the pandemic. From in-person workshops to Facebook Lives and Clubhouses, they've always embraced new ways to connect and inspire. Now they present their latest creation, The Jump Point Podcast. Welcome to the journey. Hello, Sarah here, talking to you on September 21st, 2024. Before we jump into this episode, I wanted to set the context for anybody who might just be joining and or listening in now. Um, if you've missed episode two, we shared that we were going to be taking you back in time to June 20th, 2024, when Tim and I were in Italy. We were last minute pulled to Italy for what we can see in hindsight was a kind of pilgrimage or a a soul journey adventure to being pulled and led to our new home. And we are going to be sharing with you the clips that we captured along that journey to being pulled to our float home, which is was full of synchronicity and full of breakthrough. And we we share the story and the spirit of possibly resonating with our listener in terms of it's never too late to be reborn or to start again or to do something different. Recently saw a post by the holistic psychologist who shared such a a timely message about, you know, let's, let's celebrate crossing the country in your 60s or starting over in your 40s and how this culture can so much, at least I experience and see that the 20 when you're in your 20s and your 30s you sort of have this pressure of getting your life all figured out and everybody has their own unique timeline and we're speaking to the jump point in the timeline where we are making a a massive paradigm shift we speak about about all of of this in the jump point podcast and the next few episodes are going to be just a real intimate look on our journey through Italy and then over to Vancouver Island and ultimately purchasing a home. I really hope you enjoy this episode and this story. So here we are in our gorgeous Airbnb in Napoli. Oh my God, it's stunning. Tim. Vaulted ceilings. Ooh, yes. I just love this. Yeah, Tim is having a... I'm bawling every... I think I'm, I'm concluding that I'm just a crier. <laughs> you're, you said your heart grew three times. I did. It's just, just in this space. There's three terraces up here, upstairs, overlooking the whole city. It's and overlooking the, the harbor here. It's just, it's just wildly, amazingly awesome. Yeah, <laughs> it's just... Tim can go on forever and I could go on forever and this is just one hell of a freaking awesome adventure. Any other words? Was there a purpose of turning the phone on or well, just you were bang just on? no because you were just releasing some emotion. Oh yes, I was. I, I was. I yes, sorry, been, I, I haven't been capturing all the releases that you've had. I don't think. It's well, I just started. I'm going up to get, to get some coffee that you just made, and then I start bawling. I'm just going, oh my god, like it's just. So beautiful, and we've, we've run into the, the whoever uh, owns this place has got this utopia for realists, and it's the only book in here that is uh, written in English, and I'm just freaking loving it. Yeah, we have we're we're still um, oh. preparing. It feels like for the podcast to actually do the podcast and the other aspects we're talking about. You know, we've made the jump point and. We're broadcasting already, even though we haven't actually, you know, done. Well, done what would hit his, historically be called broadcast. Broad, yeah, we're doing a broadcast from the internal. Yes, that's what it. it feels like. It's actually maybe clearing out a lot of the trash. And maybe like falling up upon books or yes. sites that we need to absorb before we record the podcast. And well, all that kind of stuff is, I think, uh, the thing that's so fascinating for me, not fascinating, 
fabulously exciting is a better word for it. You know, on this this journey, this soul journey that we're on, that there's things that actually can, you know, re remind me of who I am. And then there's things that actually can give me, uh, like, go this way, go that way. That book, Utopia for Realists, is one of those ones like, Tim, yes, of course, that would be something for me to just give me some context. That there's other people in the world who think, obviously there are, but there's other people who think the way we think, who are actually creating, I think, the, the footpath and then the, the path through the mountains to a new way of having, doing, and being, which is so vital. Well, I think the coffee yep. is done. There we go. That's the end there of that. we go. That's the end of that. I just wanted to share some of your yes. moments because as we've been saying, we just had the, the astro cartography and the Kathy who did the reading for us noted how Tim has been sandwiched literally in a box in the area he's been living his whole life. And, you know, there were noteworthy markers for me to come to Italy for, for like learning from the land, which as I'm being here feels a lot to do with my literal family roots and the literal land we have here in Rome. But she also noted for Tim that it would also be beneficial and also just mentioned like Tim, you going anywhere outside of the box, outside of the box that is Ontario will be beneficial for you. I and mean, consciously, that's a, that I think the thing that I'm, I, because I think I banged on a few times about it, it's like, geez, I feel like stuck here in Southern Ontario. In Canada. Yeah. And you know, wonderful, beautiful. Intuitively you knew, cause you've yeah. been talking about that. And so just wanted to share yes, your, you, you your, share. your breakthroughs of, yeah, your releases and your, again, reclaiming the promise that you made to yourself to be exploring and backpacking. And we have these little backpacks here. And, you know, we're talking about getting, hiring a car to go to the Amalfi Coast today and then taking the ferry back and just exploring around, so. Just living, yeah, living a life that I've always, always hoped that I would actually get to the point where I'm living that life. And here I am living that life with my bestie. Oh my God, this is so freaking awesome. Arr! 